welcome to my channel. I am Tammy. You're here on Tammy Talks where we talk TV and pop culture and all that comes in between with that. So I actually wanted to do just a really quick, um, like little rant, vent, whatever session about Queen Sugar season six, episode seven. They would bloom you and welcome you. Um, they will bloom and welcome you. Excuse me. <sighs> Before we get started, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, leave some comments down below, let's talk about it, all that good stuff. Um, I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, so, so, any little bit helps. So, if you are thinking about subscribing, um, if you just came across my video, if you're tired of typing in Tammy Talks every week. Here's your chance. So I didn't take notes on the video, I mean on the episode, because um, I didn't plan on talking about it at all. But just to do a little quick, quick something about it. So let's do uh, Micah. Micah and this, his friend. Um, I don't know why Micah can't see that his friend is like trying to move in on him. That little boy, that boy likes him. Um... I'm glad that Micah is comfortable enough to hug his friend and stuff. But it's also like, why do y'all keep hugging? Why do y'all keep, why are you allowing your friend to keep putting you in this situation? Um, Because if we recall, like his friend was kind of the one that like low-key kind of talked him out of being, you know, in a relationship with his professor. His friend is the one that was kind of, I don't say talked him out of it, but his friend was the one that was kind of like, do you need this? You know, like kind of trying to big him up to be like, you don't need to be with her. Um, I, we, well, we know that the actor that plays Micah in real life is gay. And I think, I think that's where the character is headed as well. Um, we do see his professor, like she's super impressed with his presentation. And we see her like trying to like, get that old thing back with him and Micah stood his ground and was like, I have grown. I'm good. Don't need ya. That's basically what he gave her. And then his friend was outside just smiling and I'm like, all right, Micah, don't let that little boy um, get you into a compromised position that you are not prepared for. You know that he is gay. Um, it, it's, it's great that you're comfortable with that and you know you're not letting that deter you from hanging out with him you don't care about his sexuality but he's coming on to you and it's a matter of time before y'all are sitting around hanging out and that boy leans in and tries to kiss you it's a matter of time um the real the real thing is ralph angel am i sad they lost the farm yes that's something that has been in our family for years. Um, your daddy left you that land to help you provide for your family. However, you do dumb shit, you get dumb results. And Ralph Angel, so basically Sam Landry set him up. So he played on Ralph Angel's need for money and he brought in one of his old friends who he hasn't talked to in years, brought in that guy, and they set the whole thing up. So Ralph Angel thought he turned off the cameras, but apparently there were other cameras that were set up. So as Ralph Angel was looking directly into the camera to turn it off, he's directly on camera with the way that they had it rigged. Um, It's very hard to feel sorry for him. It's not very hard. I don't. I just, I don't feel sorry for Ralph Angel. You did this to yourself. And I'm glad that Hollywood got in his ass and was like, you did this. Don't sit up here and cry now. You stole. And it's on camera. What bothered me, though, was when they first started to talk about it, um, was they were like, oh, well, I'm going to go talk to Sam Landry. I'm going to go talk to Sam Landry. That man stole from him. He stole. I'm sorry, but could Sam Landry drop the charges? Yeah, he could. But the audacity of you to think that because y'all have history and other, you know, whatever happened in the past with y'all, that you think that Ralph Angel was not going to have to pay the consequences of stealing from this man. That was like baffling to me. 
What makes you think by what favor does he owe you that would cost, you know, that would justify Ralph Angel being able to go into his business and steal? And see, Ralph Angel was stupid with that from jump because you knew that getting in bed with the, um, the Landry's and even doing something like that was inexcusable and it was unacceptable to do. You knew it was wrong because you sat up in that truck and you prayed before you did it. Sat up in that truck and prayed. The audacity of somebody to pray before going to knowingly commit a crime. It's not like you were going in to talk to somebody about something legit and you were praying that, you know, um, that situation wouldn't be a setup. You knew. You knew. So, and then for Ralph Angel to give this woe is me trying to hold the man, trying to hold the black man down, that is not going to work this time, sweetheart. That is not because I've been saying from rip one, the petty loans was a trash idea. You never do petty loans are they're modern day loan sharks. I had a payday loan once in college for $200 trying to go out for New Year's Eve, paid that shit off as soon as I got paid. But Ralph Angel had four, for payday loans, y'all, because he didn't have the money to pay the payday loans back, so he's taking out an additional payday loan to cover that part, and then to have some money. What happened to the job at the, the was he at like a nursing home, the, the assisted living place? What happened to that janitorial job that you had? What is going on there? Why did you quit that? I understand that your livelihood is being a farmer. That's what you do, right? I understand that I get that. You didn't have a good crop this year. So you got that money from your friend. You took Darla on this expensive-ass baby moon that you knew you couldn't afford. You're buying expensive cribs and stuff for her because you have too much pride. Too much pride is that pride is the worst thing a man can have. You can't live and die on that. You can't. You have to know when to put your pride aside for what's best for your family. So Ralph Angel is saying, I took back what he owed me. He damaged my crop. And everybody would say, he damaged your crop. You kept the proof? No, I don't have no proof. But I, I know. And it's like, when Charlie was like, do you have proof? And Ralph Angel said, no. Charlie said, to hell with it. She's over it. Because my whole thing is like, you have a sister. If you don't want Charlie's money, then you try to work for her somehow. Let Darla work as an assistant for her. Have Charlie help you find another job. Ask Charlie for the money. Because granted, yes, it's your farm. It is your farm, but this is also the family's legacy. Then you want to sit up there and cry at the end and say, what about mama? Were you thinking about your mama's grave when you, when you went in the stone? Were you thinking about that when you went to stole Ralph Angel? What happened to him working at the fish market with the, you know, little Asian, was she Asian? Yeah, with the Asian girl's family. You can't go back there? My whole thing is, I understand that you're a felon, Ralph Angel. I get that. It is very hard for felons to get jobs, but you didn't try. You didn't try. Yeah, you're a farmer by nature. You want to keep your daddy's legacy going, and now there ain't no legacy no more because you don't lost the damn farm because Sam Landry said, I'll drop the charges, absolute. But I want the farm. And I'm like, I don't I, I just is it time for Queen Sugar to end? Is it time it is it time for this to be the last season? Because I think so. I think this needs to be the last season of the show. Um, the show is generally around the family and their farm, and now we don't lost the sugar mill because you know Charlie lost that. Now we're now they don't lost the farm. I personally don't care to see Charlie run for Congress. I don't think it fits the theme of the show. What happened to um, old girl from um, How to Get Away with Murder? That was like one of the Landry's like hidden away black daughters, have daughters. This is, you did this, Ralph Angel. Oh, then I forgot, you know, Darla had the money. 
It's not Darla asking her people for the money. Darla had this money because it's money that's rightfully hers. It was supposed to be used for college. She didn't go to college. That didn't pan out for her. But that's still money that her parents set aside for her. A quick phone call and her parents, Michael Michelle, easily was like, girl, here, you, you're married now. You have a, um, you're pregnant. That baby's about to come any day now. And now y'all don't have a place to live. What are you going to do with your pride now, Ralph Angel? Where are y'all going to live? Do you want to live with Amy? So she can criticize how y'all are raising the baby? Are you going to go live with Charlie? Or are you going to feel like, I don't want to live with Charlie. The stuff is too good here. Like, I am just floored. Floored at this episode. You lost the farm. I, I hope this is the last season of Queen Sugar. Um, well, I've enjoyed the show for what it was. I feel like they should have kept Greenleaf going and canceled this. But let me know how y'all felt about the episode. Are we sad that Ralph Angel, do we feel bad for Ralph Angel that he lost the firm? Or was it, you know, shit happens. Catch y'all next time.